Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. Now, fighters from the Nigerian terrorist group Boko Haram killed dozens of people Thursday in northern Cameroon as cross-border clashes continued between the insurgents and multiple governments trying to defeat them. Cameroon's Minister of Communications, Isa Echiroma Bakari, says at least 800 fighters burned churches, mosques and villages as they slaughtered people who re uh, resisted uh, joining them in fighting against Cameroonian forces. Well, a day earlier, Chadian forces battled with Boko Haram militants in the Nigerian town of Gambaru uh, before the insurgents moved into Cameroon to attack the residents of Fort Okol, killing more than 70 people. Local residents say the insurgents entered mosques and slit the throats of Muslims who had gathered for early morning prayers. An unidentified army officer says he was shocked by what he had found in the aftermath of Boko Haram's presence in that area. We dispersed them completely and we have prevented them from regathering. They acquired weapons and were killing people. It's not godly. What they were doing, you can't slaughter humans like animals. You are putting their knives here. This is the first time I've encountered something like this. Well, the African Union last week authorized a regional force of 7,500 troops to fight the militants.